Vulnerable Road Users Part 2. This video covers types of crossings, pedestrians at night, cyclists, with flow and contraflow lanes. Right, we started talking about school crossings. Let's just recap on other types of crossings. OK. So, what are they? Zebra, Pelican, Puffin, Pegasus and Toucan. Excellent, Ben. Well remembered. So, if you're approaching a zebra crossing and there are pedestrians nearby, what should you do? Slow down and be prepared to stop. Perfect. And if you come to a stop and the pedestrians don't start crossing? Be patient and wait. Excellent. What about if a disabled person is waiting to cross? Well, you should do the same thing. Slow down and prepare to stop. You'll just have to bear in mind that they may take longer to cross, so you should let them cross in their own time and not try to rush them along. That's the same at other crossings too. Even if the light has turned green, you should wait. Yes. So what does an amber light at a pelican crossing mean? You should give way to pedestrians already crossing? Yes. OK. One more crossing related question. At which crossing can both cyclists and pedestrians use? A toucan crossing. Two can cross at a toucan crossing. Excellent. Right. One more thing before we move on. If you see a pedestrian at night wearing reflective clothing and a bright red light, you are approaching an organised walk, so you should reduce your speed. OK, I think I can remember that one. Excellent. So, next to vulnerable road user, please, Ben. Um, cyclist? OK, cyclist it is. So, which direction do you think this cyclist is about to go in? Well, you'd probably naturally think they would be turning left, or going straight ahead, as they are on the left-hand side of the lane. But, they could potentially go in any direction. They could, yes. And in fact, this cyclist is turning right. Cyclists may often take a different route at roundabouts, so that they are less vulnerable. The same goes for horses and their riders. OK, so if you intend to turn left ahead and you're following a cyclist, what should you do? Wait for the cyclist to pass the junction and don't attempt to overtake it. Correct. If you're going to overtake a cyclist or motorcyclist when you're not about to turn left, then remember to leave lots of space, as they could be affected by wind or swerve to avoid a pothole. Will do. Does this also apply to horse riders, like at roundabouts? Yes. When overtaking a horse and its rider, you need to overtake slowly and leave plenty of space, so you do not startle the horse. Like children, animals are unpredictable, so you should apply this rule to other animals in the road too, like sheep. OK. Right, back to cyclists. If you see this sign, what does it mean? Um, warning cyclists? Yes, it tells you that there is a cycle route ahead. So you'll need to be aware of cyclists. Cycle route ahead? OK. What about this one? Does this mean there's a cycle lane and pedestrian route? I'm sure I've seen that sign on paths where there has been a cycle lane too. That's right. So when you're driving and see this sign, make sure you look well ahead for any hazards that they might create. OK. Can you remember the difference between a with flow and contra flow lane? Um, so contraflow was like when we were in roadworks and had to go onto the opposite carriageway. Contraflow means against the normal flow of traffic, and with flow is with the flow of traffic. Excellent, so a with flow cycle lane is travelling with the flow of the normal traffic. You should give cyclists plenty of room and not drive or park in the lane. Got it! OK, let's just look at one more thing relating to cyclists and then we'll take a break. OK. I think we've been over this before, but just in case we haven't, have a look at this. At some junctions with traffic lights, there are stop lines, and a marked area for cyclists to position themselves in front of other traffic, 
to allow them to move off safely. Ooh, yes, I have seen these before. You need to let them move off first, don't you? You certainly do. Well done today, Ben. You've done extremely well. Now let's recap. Types of crossings. Puffin, Zebra, Pelican, Pegasus and Toucan. Pedestrians at night. If you see a group of people in reflective clothing with a bright red light, it's likely that they are on an organised walk, so you should reduce your speed. Cyclists. Cyclists may often take a different route at roundabouts, so that they are less vulnerable. This also applies for horses and their riders. If you intend to turn left and have a cyclist in front of you, always wait for the cyclist to pass the junction and don't attempt to overtake. If you're going to overtake a cyclist or motorcyclist, when you're not about to turn left, remember to leave lots of space, as they could be affected by wind or swerve to avoid potholes and drain covers. Cycle route ahead. Pedestrian and cycle route. This area allows cyclists to move off safely. With flow and contraflow lanes. With flow means that you are travelling with the flow of traffic. Contraflow means that you are travelling against the flow of traffic, 